before I went in front of a judge. As if you had a traffic accident or something? Yeah. I went there on a Sunday and I was the only person in the courthouse besides the people that were dealing with my case. The judge? There was a judge. A special court. The lady from the Jugendamt? The lady from the... there was... there was seven people in the room. I counted them. It seven was, people? Yeah. It Can was the judge and this person looking after my child, that person looking after my child, um, my ex, his attorney, my, my attorney. I didn't know this lady. There was some person to translate and... Um, um, but the way that the court, the court went, they were saying so many different words. They were, they were talking and they were saying this and they were saying that and I didn't understand what they were saying. And then the door major said, um, maybe one sentence. And I didn't understand. I was confused. I was scared. And, um, and what about your lawyer? Did he or did she defend you? Um, I don't know. I didn't know what was going on. I don't know. You don't remember. Can you remember if she talked or not talk or remained quiet? She talked. She talked a little bit. Yes, yeah, she talked. A little talked. bit. Mm. Okay. Um, did you get a decision, a court decision afterwards? No, they said that we would have to come back. One. Um, in a week. In a week. So my children remained at this foster home. So it means that your children remained in a foster home without any court decision, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. so good or bad, but you were forbidden to contact them? I went to go, I was able to go to this foster home and visit them every day if I wanted to. For how long? Um, for the first two weeks. So I went and over... How, 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 how many times? How many times every day? The lady at the foster home said that I'm allowed to come whenever I wanted to. Okay. So, I got on my bicycle and I rode over there um, every day. And then, um, um, but the day, back to the court day, when I was in court, I took the, my attorney in the, in the hallway and I said, can I talk? So I talked to her for a moment. When I talked to her, I said, please, I don't want my children staying out of foster home. I said, um, could you please just let, let them at least sleep at their daddy's house? And she said, no, it won't look good for you in court because they're going to say that my children have more time with him and you'll never get your kids. So I said, I said, okay. Mm -hmm. I said, please just give them to my husband. She said, no, it's better when they stay at the foster home. So um, she said, maybe, you know, um, but I better not say that I'm going back. I'm, I'm going home, you know. So I said, okay. And then um, I went. I went back in. I was crying. I was crying. And I, I went back um, in the courtroom. And they just said, "Okay, come back the next week." I uh, continued visiting my children. The next court court date. Um, the first thing the judge said was that um, um, I need to stop going over to this foster home. You need to stop. Yeah, because the lady at the foster home told the judge that I was coming over there, and I was harassing her. Her family and my children. Her, yeah. And she said every time I leave... Upsetting the children, perhaps. And she said I was harassing her family because I was coming over every day. She invited me over every day. We drank tea. And sometimes she would have dinner prepared. She asked me to come over. But she reported to the court that um, I was harassing her and I was... I was um, um, making my children afraid and because I would come over there I was coming so often and my children didn't know what was so going on. She was cooperating with that system, right? Yeah, she was. Oh. And she said you need to relax. She said um, a lot of times kids come here and they have to stay for sometimes months and maybe it might be a year. Who knows how long your decision will be. And I said no, my kids are not staying here for a year. She said well, you need to get used to the idea because it might happen. Listen, let's make a break. So, did you call your father, your mother, and, and, and told what happens to you in Germany? I couldn't do any this time because I didn't have any money. Did the American consulate ever contact you again or come out and see what was happening actually? They never came out. They never came out, but I kept, I kept trying to call them. To this present day, have they come out? They never came out. I see. 
so and um, you were lost. You was lost, completely lost in Germany. And uh, no means, no home. sorry, no means, no, no home. means, no homes, no children, no people supporting you, right? Or did you get some support within the Germans? What I ended up doing was at and this brown house. At the brown house. Who is living? Who is living? Who are the people? Who are the women living in such shelter home? Yeah, is yeah. it called in English? Shelter. Shelter. Which kind of people? Germans? German women? They're all Auslanders, most of them. All of them. Auslander is foreigner, right? All, all. All foreigners. From which countries? Um, from Russia, from Spain, from Poland, Turkey, from from. Um, no, Ger no German woman. <laughs> Sounds like a Zonderbehandlung. Yeah. No German woman. Um, I think so. I've, I've been there since January. There's been one German woman. And today we have my right, my 2010. Yes. Okay, and um, well, one day you uh, get in contact with us. How did it uh, happen? Do you remember? Over your father? Um, yeah, I called the U.S. When I called the U.S. Embassy one time, they said. The, give me a list of five of your most important people that you know, and then we'll contact them and tell them to call you. So I had my dad's name on one of the lists. They contacted my dad and and um, my mom and my brother, and they were able to call me. That's how. Just, just curious. Uh, in this shelter, is it only for women? No kids, no children. At it's all? for women and children. Women and children. Yes. So, not necessarily those who have lost their children or uh, okay and I'm, I'm obligated to to do deeds around the house so a lot of times I I have to take I take care of other other people's children and that's a part of my deeds I'm allowed to do that but I can't even I can't even have any time alone with my own children I can I say that since the Jugendamt came on uh, on the Saturday and took away your children, you never had any single minute uh, spent together with them without any surveillance or monitoring of the German state. Nor have they come to see you at the Frauenhaus. They're not allowed to. Oh. I'm not allowed to. And I can't go to their school either. And I forgot to mention that um, after the first court date, I went down to my doctor's office and took a drug test. I went to psychologists. I've went to four different psychologists as of today. And they all said that there's nothing wrong with me and I'm normal. And they still keep my kids away from me. And um, did you return to the court? Did you, uh, how do you say that, seek for appeal uh, in front of any German court? I haven't gotten any because it's not finished. What is not finished? This this legal process. For sure, it's not finished. But mm -hmm. uh, I, I do not understand. Um, you brought all the evidences to the lawyer to the court mm -hmm. that you are not on drugs and you are uh, you had a normal life. Why? What is the reason why you can't get your children back? I do not understand. They said because my husband doesn't feel comfortable with me being around the children by myself. Okay, you're still married? Yes, I'm still married. And the marriage is entered into Germany somehow? Or you were married in the States? and We're you married in the States. But in the meantime, he has registered the children as German, German citizens, citizens. Without your knowledge? Without my knowledge. And as British citizens. Well, I think the German courts, they, the young Avent, they say that they have angst that I might um, I might take my children, but then I expressed to them that I have angst that he might take them also while they have British citizenship. I didn't know anything about British or German. Okay.